Hi friends! Today we're gonna talk about uh, cultural content to help with anxiety. Pop culture girl! That's me. I'm pop culture girl. We know cultural content is always something to help you uh, connect with your emotions and feel better and everything, but there are certain types of culture, of pop culture that are really helpful with, with anxiety, so we're gonna check through them. I also made a video about five feel-good TV shows that you can watch right there. Definitely check that out. Um, I want to talk about one of these TV shows again because it really is the best. My first pop culture content to help with anxiety is Brooklyn Nine-Nine. It's about a police precinct in New York, so each episode is separate from the others. Uh, there's small, um, small investigations, but it's not really the focus of the show. The focus is the characters, and there are so many of them, and such a diversity. And they have a lot of great characters, great storyline. It's really amazing. It's absolutely hilarious. And it's some kind of content that I always find myself going back to when I feel down because it's really light, it's it's fun and it makes you connect with this character. And they're all going through all of the phases of life that you go through. Um, there's a lot of uh, powerful storyline where you really connect with the characters and you feel really good. Next one is Animal Crossing. <laughs> If you don't know Animal Crossing, basically it's a game where you land on the deserted islands and you have to build it on your own. You have to recruit people, you have to do a lot of things on your own. And it's about um, building your own community and having really cute animal villagers. Animal Crossing is really something that helps with anxiety because it grounds you. You play on the real day, so like every day is a different story, you have different things to do, you can just like go fishing or plant flowers. It's very stress-free because you just, you go your own way and you have a little things to do every day so it grounds you in, in the presence, in, in time. You can also be whoever you want, you can have funky, funky clothes and everything. Uh, the inhabitants are so cute. Like the villagers are adorable and you can chat with them, they are all they have very cute and funny things to say but it's really nice because it helps you connect and have a sense of social life even in crown time you can actually visit your friends but it's it does feel really nice and it's it's really good content it's really rpg style so you do your own life you live your life but it's in a peaceful environment with a nice little music background and you chat with your villagers, you build something and it feels very tangible and it grounds you actually in doing something, in repetitively doing something because you always like you find a fossil and you go fishing, then you hunt butterflies and everything. And repeating all these is it's kind of really soothing and really relaxing. And it's also very cute. The other one, the other video games I want to talk about is... I don't have the physical copy, so just check it out, <laughs> just check it out. Um, it's Gris, uh, it's probably the most beautiful game ever created. Uh, it's absolutely wonderful, it's beautiful, it's very aesthetic and it's very very soothing. Uh, they don't explain to you what's going on to you, so you're basically on your own, you, you figure out what you're doing, an amazing music, they have amazing graphics and you can choose to see what you want to see in the game because nothing is explained to you uh, you can put your own meaning on it and this game is about starting in a grey world hence the name <laughs> and finding colors back keeps you focused and it's very soothing because the music is surrounding you you have the amazing graphics and it's absolutely it's, a, it's an absolute gem. It's also not very expensive, so... And it's, it's available on all platforms, even Android. It's a whole experience, like being in this game. Another content to help with anxiety. Now I want to talk about... The Alchemist by Polo Coelho. This is actually the Brazilian version, it's in Portuguese. And I don't speak Portuguese, but it comes straight from Brazil, so... Love it. Uh, I read it in French actually. It was gifted to me by a dear friend, Eva. And it's a kind of story, it's a story about finding yourself. And it's very peaceful, it's not a stressful story at all. You you follow someone through. It's not very long, it's, it's barely like 200 pages. 
um, and it goes really softly and it's about a young man that wants to follow his destiny and follow the signs he, see, he sees in the world and so he travels. He travels in the desert, he goes to another country, he meets new people and it's all about the lessons he learns about life. It's a really marvelous story. Polo Coelho has a way to write that actually makes you want to stop and take in the words because like, I've never crossed the Sahara Desert, obviously, but it's the story feels personal on so many levels. And it's a... Uh, it's pure gem. Check it out. Read it, pals. Read it. And I can't advise you enough to read it because it's... It's really... Um, it's a timeless story, actually. You can... You can read it today in 10 years. Five years ago, it's 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 about it's about finding yourself in the world and trusting yourself enough and learning to know yourself and to know what you want, what you what you deserve, and it's very very beautiful. It's my favorite book ever. I, I believe. Thank you.